welcome back to this video in this video we're going to solve a classical coding engine equation sort colors in this problem you are given an array of integers the array contains zeros ones and twos now we have to sort this array in ascending order how we can solve this problem we can solve this problem using my sort algorithm Mars sort algorithm but Mars sort algorithm will takes linear logarithmic time complexity and this is not an efficient solution for this problem we have to solve this problem in linear time complexity in constant space complexity and we have to solve this problem in single patch so how we can solve this problem First, let's see how we can solve this problem in linear time complexity. Now, how we can solve this problem? To solve this problem, we're going to use two variables. First, zeros, the name of first variable zeros, and the name of second variable ones. And this zeros variable will store number of zeros we have in the given array. In this array, we have three zero, and we have two ones. So zero is equals to three and one equals to two. We're not computing here number of twos because if we calculate number of zeros and number of ones then we can calculate number of twos easily. We're not calculating here number of twos because if we calculate number of zeros and number of ones then we can calculate number of twos easily. The length of this array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and number of zeros plus number of ones equals to 5. So 7 minus 5 equals to 2. So we have here 2 2 in this array. We don't have to calculate number of 2s. Now what are we going to do? We are going to replace the first three elements with zeros. So we are going to replace this element with 0, this element with 0, this element with 0. Then we will replace this two element with one and the rest will be replaced using two. And this is how we can solve this problem. We can find out number of zeros and ones by scanning this array from left to right once. And then we will iterate from this cell to this cell and then we will insert at first three cell zero and then one one then in the rest cell two two. This is how we can solve this problem. Uh, this solution will take big of in time complexity and big of on space complexity. But this is not a single pass algorithm. This is a two pass algorithm because we are scanning this array twice. Now let's see how we can solve this problem in a single patch. In order to solve this problem by scanning this array once, we are going to use three pointers. This is going to be a little bit critical to understand but stick to this video we have three pointer we have low pointer low pointer will point to the first element middle pointer will point to the first element initially and high pointer will point to this last element now what we're going to do we're going to check if m is points to zero then we will swap m and l that means medium and low and then we'll move medium and low to the next element so here we see that m is not pointing to zero then we're gonna check does m is points to one no if m is pointing one then we'll just move m to the next element now we're gonna check does m is pointing to two we see that m is pointing to two if m is pointing to two then what we're going to do we're going to swap the value for middle and high pointer so we're gonna swap this two so one will move here and two will move here and then what we're going to do we're going to move high pointer to the left so high will point to this element then in the next iteration we see that m is now pointing to one if m is pointing to one then we'll just move m to the next element so m will point to this element 
Now we see that m is pointing to 0. If m is pointing to 0, then we will swap the value for middle and low pointer. So let's swap them. So 1 will move here and 0 will move here. And then we're going to move low and middle pointer to the next element. So let's move them. Let's move middle to this element and low pointer to this element. Now we see that middle is points to 1. Then what are we going to do? We're going to move middle to the next element. So let's move middle to the next element. Now we see middle is points to 0. When middle is points to 0, we're going to swap middle and low. So let's swap them. 0 will move here and 1 will move here. Now we're going to move middle and low to the next element. So let's move middle to this element and low to this element. Now we see that middle is points to 0. When middle is points to 0, we're going to swap the value for middle and low pointer. So let's swap them. 0 will move here and 1 will move here. Now what are we going to do? We're going to move middle to the next element and low to the next element. Low will point here and middle will point here. Now we see that middle is points to 2. Now what are we going to do? We're going to swap the value for middle and high pointer. We see that middle and high pointer is pointing to the same element. So we'll do nothing here. And we're going to move high pointer to the left element. And we see that middle pointer is points to the next of high pointer. So we're done here. And at the end, we'll return this array. This is how we can solve this problem. This solution takes big of n time complexity and big of one space complexity. And we're scanning this array only once. So this is a single pass algorithm. Now, let's see the algorithm. First, we have the function sort color. Sort colors. This function takes an array as input, A for array. So this is our function name, sort colors. This takes an array as input. The inside here, we're going to find the length of this array. So n equals to A dot length. Now, we're going to initialize low and middle pointer to the first element. 0, it will point to the first element, then high pointer, high equals to n minus 1. So it will point to the last element initially. Then we're going to run a while loop. While middle is less than or equals to high, we're going to run this loop. And inside here, we're going to check if our current element at middle pointer is 0. If middle pointer is points to the element 0, then what are we going to do? We're going to swap. Uh, in this array n, sorry, in the array a, low and high, sorry, low and middle. And then we're going to move low to the next and middle to the next. Else, if middle is points to the element 1, then we're going to move middle to the next element. Else, this means that the middle pointer is pointing to the element 2. So now here what are we going to do? We are going to swap the value for middle pointer and high pointer. And we are going to move high to the previous element. Okay? So here we are moving high to the previous element. And this is our algorithm. This is how we can solve this problem in single patch, in linear time, and in constant space complexity. This is how we can solve this problem. Hope you have understood how this algorithm actually works. And the solution is a little bit tricky, but it's not that much difficult to understand. If you're not understanding this video explanation, I will highly encourage you to review us this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.